everyone. Welcome back to Bill's Unboxings. So we're going to get into um, this Magic the Gathering in a Straw Crimson Vow Commander Pack. So uh, let's get right into this and see if I can open. It seems to not want to open today, so tune in tomorrow. I'm going to throw it off to Jacob now. All right, well, what that is is the most fantastic, bombastic, not for Asthmatics Collection of Games and events that we're going to be playing together and the chances to win the Trophy of Bombs. No, it's not a soccer trophy. Let the games begin. <laughs> Got to be faster than that. Riding on a board. Come on, Bailey, try harder. Rub a dub dub. <laughs> Alright, so that concludes the event, whatever it was. Anyways, <laughs> so our champions, the Red Pandas. Hey, hey, let's go! go! Woo! Hold it up, hold it up! <laughs> Music reviews. Music reviews by Naz. Yeah, that's absolutely the worst. Uh, that is absolutely garbage. The worst music I've ever heard in my life. Um, honestly, we'll never listen to it again. Um, I'm going to have to give it a 9.5 out of 10, though. 9.5 out of 10. Oh, sorry. 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 Brad. I'm, I'm sorry. Should we do another take? We don't have enough time. Naz Music Reviews. Music Reviews by Naz. The Lord will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, God with us. Let us now that's comedy. Welcome to Sugar Welcome to Sugar Pine Seven's very own James DeAngelis draws an H got HR an HR Geiger inspired portrait of Sabercourt's very own Bradley Nesbitt. All right. Brad, I hope you enjoyed your HR Geiger portrait. Brad, testicles. Shut the f up, bacon! Welcome back to Real True Stories. Well, now it all started when I was uh, sitting on my porch one 
Tuesday morning, I believe, um, drinking a morning cup of Joe, as I do, uh, Walmart brand, of course. Um, and I looked across the street and just saw a bird. Didn't think anything of it because I, I bird watch on the weekends, but I, it wasn't the weekend, so I didn't really focus on it. But I had to do a double take because I thought, I looked back and I thought, that if that ain't the biggest bird uh, I've ever seen in this neighborhood. And I, and I pulled my phone out take a picture of it and when I and when I zoomed in on my phone I zoomed in on my phone I thought if this ain't the darndest thing but this this sucker is eyeing me down and this bird which I found out later was a falcon started flapping over to my porch and waddled up the stairs we have three little stairs there and he was waddling up it all you know broad chested and such and I personally was a little bit intimidated so I ran inside real quick and looked out the window at it for mm, I'd say a few minutes and finally mustered the courage to step back outside yes this is when I uh, invited the falcon inside my home my family wasn't there at the time they were uh they were my my kids were off at school my wife was at work and I, I, is, I don't, I, I'm not sure how explicit I can get here, but I, can I? Well, I, um, I made, I made the Falcon a warm cup of milk and, um, we immediately started having sex right there in the foyer. And I thought this was just the most wildest thing I've ever done since marrying my wife. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's close margin, of course. And so, yeah, we were just, you know, having intercourse on the foyer floor, out on the out on the rug, on the red rug that we got from my uh, from my great grandmother's house, in fact. So it's re it's really old, it's really old rug, in fact. Um, but we we unfortunately, you know, tore it up a little bit. But that's the sacrifices um, when getting popped down by a falcon. And yeah, we were just uh, we were just really going at it. I mean, he was aggressive. <laughs> he just entered his he just falcon punched my asshole. And I just thought, you know, I don't know how to return the favor for that, but I tried, I tried my darndest. I, you know, if he, if he ever wants to come back, we have a bird feeder now. <laughs>